Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies MCQs. We have already completed every possible MCQ from the module. Now time for us to be doing every possible question from the Board of Studies portal. These are the closest things that you can be getting for exams. So therefore, let's start to be doing them. Just two things, in case you wish to be enrolling for the complete course whereby every page of module is covered, then you all can see the description. And second, in case you will require any help for this subject, feel free to contact us on a telegram ID that goes by the name of at the rate AJ next. Uh, we are on mission to be doing every possible MCQ. Chapter number four is our mission of today. So the question is. A company is about to replace an equipment that costs 10 lakh rupees with either equipment A or B. Finance cost is 6% per year. Finance cost would be thought of as your cost of capital to be honest. And other information is below. Equipment A, equipment B. Initial cost 8 lakhs, 9 lakhs. Annual operating cost 25,000 per annum and 15,000 rupees per annum. The annuity factor of 6% finance cost for 20 years is 11.4699. This will be kind of say your cumulative discounting factor for 20 years at 6%. The company expected the new system, either equipment A or B to be lasting for 20 years. Which equipment the company should choose using life cycle costing? Now, four options. I would not like to discuss these four options much, okay, because it is a practical question. Equipment B, since life cycle cost is this much, which is lower than equipment A having cost of this much. Same way you have the second one, same way you all have the third one, same way you all have the fourth one. We'll compute, we'll come to know. Honestly, if you were there in CA Inter also this question you could have done. Equipment A and B try to be computing life cycle costing. Okay. But uh, I guess discounting factor is there. So therefore, let's start to be computing present value of equipment A and equipment B. So therefore, you have equipment A, you have equipment B. So first thing is how much you're going to be spending every year. Let's try to talk of that. So therefore, annual cash outflows. 25,000 over there, 40,000, oh, sorry, uh, 15,000 over there. Uh... But this you're going to be spending each and every year for 20 years. So multiplied by cumulative discounting factor that was there with you in the question. You will be arriving at present value of outflows of annual cash flows. Okay, so therefore that comes to this, that comes to this. Once that is done, obviously, whatever you're going to be spending in 20 years, this is the current value of that. This is the present value of that. But today you're going to be buying equipment A and B. So therefore you add up that cost. So 8 lakh rupees and 9 lakh rupees. Now, the moment you all do that, this will give you the total cost of equipment A and equipment B. You can call that as life cycle cost also. Okay. But of course, the present value. So therefore, that will be coming to this and that will be coming to this. Now, out of the four options, out of the four options, I think so. Uh, 10,86,748 and 10,72,049. Let me see, you know, which out of the four options have this answer. I guess the last one, just try to check 10,72,049, 10,72,048, that's okay. And 10,86,748, uh, 10 10,80, no, I guess it is exactly matching beta. Equipment B was 10,72,049, yes, 10,72,049, 10,86,748, 10,86,048. So answer in this case should be option number 4, that should be the correct answer. Yeah, that is the correct one. That's it for today's video. I'll see you all next time. This is the QR code for uh, the playlist, which has all the possible MCQs of the module. Check them up. It contains concepts, summaries, and everything that you might require surrounding the question. I'll see you all next time. Bye.